Hello, in this problem we're going to prove that 5 to the 2m plus 1 plus 2 to the 2m plus 1 is divisible by 7 for all integers n greater than or equal to 0. And we're going to do this using the principle of mathematical induction. So proof. Now before I start the proof, let me just briefly refresh your memory on um, what this means. So we say that a divides b and it's written this way with this vertical bar, or b is divisible by a, this means or is equivalent to saying that b is a multiple of a. So b is equal to some integer, which I'll call m times a, and this is for some integer m. Okay, so a divides b is the same thing as saying b is a multiple of a. In other words, b is divisible by a is the same thing as saying b is a multiple of a. And since it's an induction proof, we should identify our statement. Our statement is going to be, I'm going to circle it. Um, actually, I should, I'm going to put the 7 over here. I'm just going to come over here and put the 7. So when I circle it, it's all on one line. There we go. This is our statement. Okay, so I'm going to give this a name. And so this is what we're going to prove. We're going to prove that this statement is true for all integers n greater than or equal to zero. And that's actually what induction does. It allows you to prove a statement about integers, namely about positive integers, but we can start at zero. It's still okay. Now in induction proofs, the first step is called the base case. So base case. And I like to label my steps. I think it's better. So in the base case, we have to show that our statement is true for the smallest integer in question, which in this case is zero. So basically we have to show that s sub zero is true. What that means is we basically plug in zero here for all of the ends and show it's divisible by seven. So five, two times zero plus one, plus two, two times zero plus one. And again, we have to show that this is divisible by 7. In other words, we have to show that this is a multiple of 7. So it's equal to 7 times an integer. So this is going to be 5 to the first power, because 2 times 0 is 0, plus 2 to the first power. So 5 plus 2 is 7. And that's equal to um, 1 times 7, or 1 is an integer, right? So we've shown that it's a multiple of 7. In other words, it's divisible by 7. In other words, s sub 0 is true. All of those are the same thing, right? It's divisible by 7, it's a multiple of 7, s sub 0 is true, when n equals 0, which is the base case. Uh, if we had started at 2, then you would show the statement is true when n equals 2, etc. The next step is called the induction hypothesis. So induction hypothesis. And I like to label the steps. I think it just makes it much easier to read. Um, so in the induction hypothesis, this is where you assume that your statement is true uh, for some k. So here's where we assume s sub k is true. So I'll go ahead and write that. So suppose, I'll save some writing by abbreviating suppose, that our statement is true when n is equal to k. So suppose that 5 to the 2k plus 1 plus 2 to the 2k plus 1 is divisible by 7 and it's for some for some integer a greater than or equal to zero. Okay, sometimes this really matters. Um, and I mean, in this problem, it does, I guess, for the base case, but we're not going to use this later on. And in, in some of the proofs, especially the ones with like inequalities, like k greater than or equal to four, that's a key component in the next step. In this case, it's not going to be, but it's worth being aware of it. The next step is called the induction step. And in this step, we have to show that our statement is true when n is equal to k plus 1. So we have to show, we have to show s sub k plus 1 is true. So I'm going to write down what we're trying to show, just, just so it's a little more clear. So claim 
that our statement is true when n equals k plus 1. So basically, we're putting k plus 1s here. Actually, we're putting them up here in the original one. So k plus 1, k plus 1, which is the same thing as putting them here. You just can't see it because I've scrolled down. Um, so we have to cl claim that 5, 2, and then k plus 1, plus 1, plus 2, 2, k plus 1, plus 1, is divisible by 7. That's what we have to show. Which again means it's a multiple of 7. All right, let's go ahead and do it. This is the hardest part of the entire problem. So then, so we have to somehow use um, this here, which is our induction hypothesis. So let's go ahead and start by writing this down and see what happens. So 5, the 2, a plus 1, plus 1, plus 2 to the 2 times k plus 1, plus 1. So the natural thing to do, right, is just basically distribute the stuff in the exponents. So this is going to be 5, then we get 2 times k is 2k, and I'm going to skip a step here because it's a little bit easier. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3, right, you watch, see that? But it's really 2k plus 2 plus 1, that's how you get to 3. Same thing here, it's 2, 2k plus 3. And I think that this is where a lot of people get stuck because we have to somehow make this look like this, right? Look like this piece up here because we know this is a multiple of 7. So what we're going to do is we're going to just isolate those pieces. So I'm going to write this like this. This is 5. 2k plus 1 plus 2 plus actually let me just do it the way I would normally do it I was gonna I was trying to show extra steps here but let me just show you how I would normally do this I write it like this this is 5 squared times 5 to the 2k plus 1 let's say whoa what happened when you multiply here you basically uh, end up adding the exponents right because the bases are the same so when you multiply here you get 2 plus 2k plus 1 which is this same thing here, it'll be 2 squared times 2, 2k plus 1. And again, it's really important to understand why I'm doing this. What is the motivation for this? The motivation for this is that we know, is that we know that by the induction hypothesis, this here is divisible by 7. Okay, so now we've, we've got that. The problem, though, is that we have a 5 squared and a 2 squared in front of it. There's no numbers here, so we are going to fix that. This is 25 times 5 to the 2k plus 1 plus 4 times 2 to the 2k plus 1. If we had the same number in front of both of these, we could factor it out. So let's do that. Let's put the same number there. We can borrow 4 from the 25 like this. 4 times 5 to the 2k plus 1 plus 4 times 2 to the 2k plus 1. And obviously, this equation is not correct. So what's missing? Well, we have four of these. We need 25 of these. So we need 21 more of them. Boom. Again, we did this because we want to factor out. We want the numbers to be the same in front of both of these numbers because we want to factor those numbers out so we can use this. So I chose four because, well, I can't choose 25, right? Because there's only four of these. So I've got four of these and four of these. And then you have a 25 here, so you need 21 more, right? 21 plus 4 is 25. So now, what we can do here is we can pull out a 4, and we have 5 to the 2k plus 1 plus 2 to the 2k plus 1. And this is, in the next step, this is going to be a multiple of 7 by the induction hypothesis. And then here, this is beautiful because, remember, we're trying to show things are divisible by 7. So this is actually 7 times 3, right? So this is 7 times 3 times 5 to the 2k plus 1, right? Because that, there's a 7 there. We can pull it out. And so now this is equal to 4 times 7m. And this is by the induction hypothesis. I'll just call it ih plus 7 times 3 times 5 to the 2k plus 1. 
and this is for some integer m greater than or equal to zero. And now we can, by the way, this is the key step. Let me just emphasize it. All of this got replaced with the 7m. Why? That's by the induction hypothesis, right? That's because it's divisible by 7, which means it's a multiple of 7, which means it's equal to 7 times an integer. Super, super key, super important. So now we can pull out the 7 from both expressions. So this is 7, 4 times m from both terms, plus, and then 3 times 5 to the 2k plus 1. So we have seven times all of this stuff, but the important thing to note is that all of that stuff is an integer where 4m plus four times five to the 2k plus one is an integer. We have integer operations, right? Like multiplication of integers, exponentiation of integers, multiplication, so addition of integers, all of that stuff results in an integer. So we have seven times an integer. So we have that this quantity here is equal to a multiple of 7. Therefore, that quantity is divisible by 7. So thus, thus 5 to the, and what was it? Let me just make sure I write it down here. 2k plus 1 plus 1. Let's be really pro here. It's 2k plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 to the 2k plus 1 plus 1 is divisible by 7, right, because it's a multiple of 7, is divisible by 7. And so what we've essentially shown is that s sub k plus 1 is true. Our statement is true when n equals k plus 1. So this shows that s sub k plus 1 is true. So let's recap what we've done because it's really important to understand the whole process. So we had a statement about an integer, and we decided to use induction. So um, we showed it was true for the base case, so we did that. And we showed it if it's true for k, it's also true for k plus 1. So we've shown two things. Our statement is true for the base case, and we've shown that if our statement is true for some k, it's also true for k plus 1. When you combine those two facts, you can use the principle of mathematical induction. So let's go ahead and specify that in our proof. So thus, by the principle of mathematical induction, principle of mathematical induction, our statement s sub n is true for all integers n greater than or equal to 0. So we have that 5 to the 2n plus 1 plus 2 to the 2n plus 1 is divisible by 7 for all integers n greater than or equal to 0. And that completes the proof. So uh, I just wanted to give you um, just like a, a perfect proof, right? Just a proof where there's nothing skipped. Um, I don't think there's any steps skipped anywhere. And hopefully, well, I mean, there's little steps skipped here, right? But what I mean is like logical steps and things like that. Um, so hopefully this can give you a better understanding of how to use induction. This one wasn't too hard. I think the hardest part of this problem is probably right. Let me just get a different color here. Um, well, this part's kind of natural. This is like a if, like if you don't know how to do this, this is kind of like a desperation move. It's like, okay, well, I can do that because that kind of looks like what I have and that kind of looks like what I have up here, right, in the uh, induction hypothesis, right, the 2k plus 1, 2k plus 1 as the exponents. And then you get here, and I think this is where, I think this is where most people would get stuck. And so here, this is where you really want to start thinking about what's going on. You've got four of these, you've got 25 of these. What if you just had four of these? That way you can pull out a four. So you do that, and then we're very lucky that this is a 21 because that's a multiple of seven. We know this is a multiple of seven. We're done, right? So after that, it's just some formalities and writing everything up nicely. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there who is trying to learn some cool mathematics. Good luck.